Let's talk really briefly about reducing fractions. So I have here 2 fourths and I have 1 half. Now the top number in a fraction is the numerator. The bottom number in a fraction is the denominator. The denominator tells how many pieces we have. In this first fraction, we have four equal pieces. Now, mind you, my drawing's a little shady, but that's what you happen when you get with your finger. The top number, the numerator, tells how many pieces you are shading, you use, you've eaten, whatever. So, two-fourths, my top number, two, numerator, tells me I'm going to shade two pieces. Let's look at one-half. We have the denominator of two equal pieces. I'm going to shade one of them. And if you look at these two drawings, if they're the same amount of area that's been shaded, regardless of whether I only shaded one chunk here or I shaded two, the area is the same. So these two fractions are the same fraction. One is just reduced into simplest form. When you reduce fractions to their simplest form, what you're really doing is dividing a number out of both the top and the bottom. And this is the same number. So for instance, in 2 fourths, what we're doing is we are dividing by the top and the bottom by the number 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, 4 divided by 2 is 2. So that's where we get the number 1 half. In the bottom example, we have the fraction 3 ninths. I know that I can divide both the top and the bottom by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1, 9 divided by 3 is 3, so this is my reduced fraction. Let's do a couple of examples. So this top one we have 9 twelfths. I know that I can divide a 3 out of both the top and the bottom. 9 divided by 3 is 3, 12 divided by 3 is 4, so this reduces to 3 fourths. On the bottom fraction, I know that I can reduce by 2. It's an even number, you can always reduce by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3, 14 divided by 2 is 7, so this fraction reduces to 3 sevenths.